On this very bright episode of South Hall Computing, we'll be attempting to upgrade the firmware on a Eonon GA2168K, and that's coming up next. <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's Dan from South Hog Computing. Happy New Year. Now it's been a while since I posted a video, but hey, life happens. Today we're gonna to be upgrading the firmware on a Eonon GA2168. We recently got the upgraded firmware files from Eonon. So we're gonna go ahead and do this really quickly. We're in a 2018 Jeep Compass, and this one has the push stop start button technology. Now I found out the hard way with these newer types of vehicles, what happens is if you put the car in the on position without the motor on after about 10 or 15 minutes it will shut off the vehicle so I pretty much don't want this happening while I'm attempting to update the firmware on this car head unit so what I'll be doing is actually turning on the engine and attempting to update the firmware this way without any possibility of the car turning itself off so without further ado, let's get the car on. Let's turn off this really bright light and begin our upgrade process. Actually, before we do that, let's do a little tutorial on how to put the files on a USB stick really fast. All right, so we have our latest firmware from Eonon and now we're going to basically follow their directions and place it on a USB stick. First of all, we want to make sure the USB stick has the proper format on it. So you're going to want to open up a new Explorer window. Typically, it's this icon here on Windows 10. Once you have your Explorer window, you're going to go to this PC and you're gonna find your USB memory stick. Now this one here happens to be a 32 gig one, but you'll need at least a two gigabyte stick in order to copy the upgraded firmware to your Eonon head unit. So what you wanna do is right click and say format. Now here's the critical part. You want a file system that's gonna be compatible so the Android head unit could actually read it. My recommendation is doing the FAT32. I'm just gonna do a quick format here. Even though this current stick is formatted on FAT32, I wanna make sure that it's completely clean and there's no hidden files on it. So let's format it. So make sure if there's some important documents on this USB stick to copy it off to your computer first before formatting it. Once the format's complete, we're gonna say okay, close, open it up. We're gonna copy the two files that Eonon gave to us onto the USB stick. Once the files have been copied over, you're gonna to wanna to go to here and find the safely remove hardware and eject media icon. Click on it and say eject your USB storage device. Okay, so now we're ready to go back to the car and upgrade the Eonon radio. So we're back in the car, the engine is on, the Enon car head unit is booting. We're going to make sure the radio doesn't turn on because if it does, we don't want to get hit with copyright. Okay, so pretty much after we have the files copied to our USB stick, the instructions say to just plug it in to your USB slot, which I'm gonna do, and it should auto detect the files. All right, so it obviously detected it and it says it's gonna update it, so I didn't even have to hit the, uh, the button there. So now we just sit back and relax. Okay, so we just got a welcome screen. That's interesting and new. It definitely resetted everything to defaults. Oh, it's finishing the update. Nice. Okay, so let's see if it retained any of my settings here. That's a new icon on top for brightness. So let's see if it retained uh, any of my preferences here. So as expected, updating to a new firmware blows out all your preferences as well as your applications. So you will have to reset everything up after you do this firmware update. Let me see if I see any difference in the settings here. Good, we definitely have a newer version of the software and we could tell that just by the revision number on top here. We'll show, up the, we'll show you the previous version in a screenshot now.
So that pretty much sums it up here. We hope you enjoyed our really quick video. As always, please give this video a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to our channel, join our forums. It would be greatly appreciated. As always, this is Dan from South Hawk Computing and until the next time.